using too many products that can irritate your skin can make your skin become sensitized. Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. So today I'm going to be doing another Cispera video. I'm going to try and do the Cispera just continually, period. Because I remember the first time that I did that, the first time I went through this cycle, my skin was like kind of dry, kind of irritated, but it also, um, <laughs> like as I'm saying, this is not really making sense. My skin was dry and like starting to have a little bit of signs of irritation, but it was also like evening out. So I'm just like, I, between allergy season and like draining the life out of me, because I'm so... Like, it just makes my eyes so tired. Allergy season makes my eyes feel so tired and, like, just makes my skin dry and just allergies are crap. And then my hair is making me itch. Like, I've never used this type of hair before. Like, I like the way that it moves at the end, but it's really itchy. Like, I've never had an allergic reaction to hair like this before. And I know I have a, I'm having a reaction because when I first got a braided, my scalp was so flaky, which is gross. But I was like, what is that? That's, like, like, that's not normal. That's never happened to me. I've never had an allergic reaction to hair and, like, I'm itching. So I'm taking this out in a few days. I hadn't even had it in for two weeks and I'm about to take it out. Anyway, let me go ahead and apply this to Spare Systemine Intensive Pigment Corrector. I'm going to try to use a small amount. You guys want me to use, you know, three pumps so I can save it. First pump on my forehead. I'm already using them too much. Put the first pump on my forehead. One on my cheek. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to avoid some of these areas because my skin is kind of doing bits. Like in certain parts of my face, like right around the top cheek top top cheekbone area um it gets so like inflamed so i'm gonna try and chill out and not put anything over there so i'm just gonna try and put it like on the lower half of my face and right up near my nose where i tend to get that darkness and discoloration around my chin and then put another pump in the same area avoiding the top of my cheek on this side as well because for whatever reason that part of my face is very sensitive and it will um become inflamed and I don't really have influence. I don't really have um, discoloration issues there, but you don't want to irritate your skin. <laughs> you don't want your skin to be too irritated. And my nose, even if I put too much product in my nose, sometimes it will, um, you know, be irritated and it'll it'll feel sensitized. So I'm gonna put it over my melasma mustache. And let's talk about what sensitization is. Is that if that's even a word? When when your skin is sensitized. Which a lot of us um, struggle with. I know sometimes we say, oh, I have sensitive skin, sensitive skin, sensitized skin. I'm sure there's a scientific difference between the two. But using too many products that exfoliate your skin. Using too many products that can irritate your skin can make your skin become sensitized. I'm going to go ahead and time this, leave this on, leave this on for 15 minutes while I go on a little bit of rant. Um, using too many products that irritate your skin can leave your skin sensitized, um, which can make your skin more reactive to even basic products. Um, I know sometimes if I'm doing a lot of like exfoliation, if like well, the first time that I did this spare routine, I made sure that after every time I use this rose tip oil, um, this is from Ulta, it's like $12, it's actually 15 but they always have a coupon so I get it for like $12 and some change. And then I use the eczema relief, you can use the um, Aveeno brand. Um, and then I also use the Pycinogenol, which is a 5% um, antioxidant, really soothing. Helps with rebuilding your skin barrier. Um, and I ran, ran out of that, so I need to get some more. But I'm also trying to start, like, try some new skincare products. I do have a whole box of good molecules over there that I need to maybe, maybe I'll open that tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I don't overly stimulate my skin, which can lead to issues like, like, like it being more sensitized, like it being dry. So when you use a lot of exfoliation, it can really make your, your skin dry now this particular product it is kind of like an emollient so you can see there's like some sheen to it there's like an oil or something in there that makes it where it's not very uncomfortable on the skin because it is kind of hydrating a little bit but it still does um, the whole purpose of it is for it to get down to the deeper layers of your, your skin and kind of break up melasma and kind of um, inhibit it from continuing to form so that's what these um, Suspera system is supposed to do so that's the whole reason for using it um, but you just don't want to overdo exfoliation. You want to make sure that you're balancing your skin out. I'm sounding like a broken record saying the same thing over and over and over again. Okay, I'm going to let this sit on my skin for about 15 minutes and I'll be back and talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Time to wash this off. So as you know, when you apply cystamine, um, you're not supposed to wash your face first. You're supposed to just apply it on dirty skin because it is an exfoliant. It can penetrate deep, uh, you know, past makeup and things like that. So you're supposed to just put it on dirty face. Again, to not, it's the whole thing is not to incur too much 
um, irritation on your skin. So if you're washing your face, you're, you're already um, your, the skin's already going to be clean. Your pores are going to be open. The purpose is to apply it, apply it to a skin that has product built up throughout the day, and then you go ahead and put this on, wipe it off, then you wash your face afterward. So let's go ahead and wash this off. And you want to use lukewarm water. I'm just going to use one of these little soft little cotton pad things. So I'm going to use the soft side. It has like an exfoliating side and a soft side. Side soft side. I just use the soft side. And I'm just going to go ahead and use um, room temperature water and wash it off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna use my basic cleanser, the Hawaiian Facial Wash Coconut Milk. It's just gentle because I'm gonna be probably trying to keep up with this um, Suspera, at least until I get some new skincare. I'm gonna probably try to just use this. Um, I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna overdo it. I wanna feed my skin, give my skin as much love and moisture as I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this and wash my face. What, what skincare have you guys been loving? Have you been, give me some suggestions. Right now I'm really only kind of trying moderately priced, low priced brands because I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to improve a bunch of different things, credit, etc., etc. So I'm not trying to spend a bunch of money on different things right now. But give me some suggestions of what you guys have been using down below. Anything that you love, that you swear by, that's really been helping your skin. Because I feel like right now where I'm at, I noticed that I kind of have, like I have blotchy skin, I know that. So I want to be able to even my skin tone out and when I was using the hydro, the um, the hydroquinone product, the 12% hydroquinone, it was working but I was just like, I don't want to get hooked on this because and I know how hydroquinone works, it's an on, off, on, off cycle so I'm like, I don't really want to keep using this like that. Um, one of my supporters, Tangie, hey girl, she told me to use Faded and I need to go ahead and buy that, I need to go ahead and use that because um, it's apparently a good one and I need to like get some, a I want to get some AHA moisturizers too. Like, like so I want to get some products that do the same, you know, do um, the service of buffing away discoloration and melasma, hyper hyperpigmentation, etc. But I, I need them to be in like a more moisturizing format because right now I have a lot of like um, tinctures and things that aren't really putting moisture into my skin. So I need to be, I need to use something that, um, is moisturizing and also gonna help with evening my skin tone out. So any, suge any suggestions you have for moisturizing products, like uh, moisturizers with moisturizers that have like AHAs and glycolic and um, kojic and transexamic, uh, any 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 um, any what's what I'm looking for? Any suggestions you have of products like that would be much you know much appreciated. And I do have those little creams over that I purchased from um, like one of those little overseas websites um, and I feel like those are kind of cool but I want to use brands that like work that are easily accessible because even that one <laughs> that website that I use is like mm, kind of sus so it's like I wouldn't really recommend people to order from there even though I have a video of talking about that website and talking about the products that I use from that website on my channel and it's not when I don't think I didn't have any adverse reactions from using those products, but you know, just something to keep in mind. Let's find something that you know is more accessible we can get on the ground. So yeah, anyway, I'm just washing my skin, washing my face, and I'm gonna keep it very simple. Y'all know I'm like keeping it simple right now. I just wanted to show you, keep will keep you up to date with how my skin's feeling and what concerns I have. So after I wash this off, I'm probably just gonna moisturize with the rose hip and the colloidal oatmeal. And then I might, I don't even want to use that. Okay, so let me wash this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just washed the product off my face. Now I'm going to go in with these two serums from The Ordinary. Same old stuff. This is The Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and the Alpharbutin 2%. Both of these are really good for evening skin tone, evening texture. Um, Alpharbutin is one of those that's really good with helping with hyperpigmentation and melasma. Um, these serums, I've been using them for so long now. Like, don't know if I really, like, they're not really, I don't notice that they're really doing a whole lot. Um, so there's that. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just trying to get rid of them at this point so I can try some new stuff. I put them on together because they have like the same texture. And in my head, when products have the same texture, they're made to work. They're made to uh, work together. So, <laughs> especially if they're the same brand. If a product is in the same brand line and they have the same texture, then they're not, it's not going to peel. You know, sometimes if you put products on together, like you'll notice it like balling up. Peeling is the term. This does not do that. These two absorb into my skin um, together very well. And they are kind of sticky. So I'm going to let this sit on my skin for about five minutes to absorb 
let it fully absorb into my skin and then I'll come to the last step I'm keeping it very simple I'm gonna go in with the Clinique moisture surge overnight mask um, this is quite hydrating again it's not super hydrating um, I've heard that it was but for me it doesn't that's not really the case the most hydrating um, combination that I found is my rosehip oil and then that um, cream the colloidal oatmeal cream together those two really really work well they're very soothing they help a lot with irritation if your skin's feeling irritated if you're doing a lot of um, exfoliating products you know then something like a, um, a rosehip oil which is good for soothing and calming the skin and also the colloidal oatmeal cream those two work really really well together and soothe the skin and they don't irritate my skin no matter what I've been doing to, doing to it so so yeah I'm gonna let this absorb and I'll be right back okay so it's been five minutes it's dry on my skin it feels a little, it, it does feel dry. It doesn't feel like it's not making a sign for me sometimes if something's very sticky, but it'll make my eyes kind of stick together, like my eyelids. It's not really doing that, but it is, it's a serum, so it's not super, super moisturizing. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on my skin, or it doesn't feel very moisturizing either. So there's that. I'm going to go on with the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is my last step. I'm going to put like a dime size, like a flat dime, like a lot on. So my skin is dry, and I need to moisturize it. So yeah, after doing something like that exfoliating mask, which is what the um, cystamine is, it is an exfoliant, um, I definitely want to put the moisture back into my skin because I do have dry skin. So that's, that's, these are the struggles of trying to correct and put even more on, trying to correct the discoloration when you have dry skin. Um, a lot of these products make your skin even drier. So that's not really working in my favor. So that's why I'm asking if you guys know of any skin tone evening products that do not have hydroquinone I, I, I can't do the hydroquinone um, I have the hydroquinone product but I'm not going to use it on a regular basis but if you know of any that don't have hydroquinone that are moisturizing that you've seen results from or that you know you want me to try that someone's mentioned you've heard out there in the web on the internet so whatever let me know I'll be interested to give it a try so yeah but anyway that's the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching again my name is Maya please give this video a like if you watched it I know I ask you guys, give me a like if you watch the video, even if um, even if you don't plan on sticking around, um, it really helps my channel out if you give it a like. I won't see who you are, if that makes a difference. I don't know why I keep saying that, but maybe it does. Um, it is free to subscribe, so please subscribe. Check out my videos, and thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye for now. <laughs>